The Minnesota Sea Grant Fish, Food, and Aquaculture Program presents Bait Fish Production Featuring Barry Tholey, owner of Lincoln Bait in Staples, Minnesota, and Don Schreiner, fisheries specialist of the University of Minnesota Sea Grant. This is Barry Tholey, owner and operator of Lincoln Bait. Tholey has been in the bait business since 1987. In 1998, he started his farm, located in Staples, Minnesota. Tholey designed and built his farm setup to ensure that he could deliver the best product to residents and businesses in the area. Since then, Lincoln Bait has provided the Staples area of Minnesota with a live bait supply that includes a variety of minnow types. Can you give us just a little bit of an overview before we get into some specific questions about how you do your bait industry, you know, how you capture them, whether you're growing them on site, so our audience has a kind of a feel for where we're going here. I started out um, wild harvest, but watching the decline over the years of these, po of these populations, mainly because how they're harvested, I started looking at growing the fish on site. When harvesting wild-caught bait, Tholey predominantly uses a seine, with the help of some traps and the addition of his own creative modifications, so he is able to seine by himself. The species of bait minnows that Tholey catches and rears include common shiners, golden shiners, and red-tailed chubs. You know, we're standing in front of your distribution truck here, which is a big part of your business, right? Yeah. Can you explain, you know, what, what do you do with the tanks? Or are you, do you have additional um, oxygen, temperature? How do you control the environment once the fish are in the tank? Well, these tanks are homemade. Uh, they, we use pure oxygen um, for uh, transporting fish. Uh, I don't use agitators because the, the fish tend to swim into current and they brush against the agitator so that causes damage to the fish, scrapes the, the uh, slime layer off the outside of the fish. My fish are caught in the wild and brought back and put in ponds. So we transport in warm water. Uh, pure oxygen works best and then we use ultra fine pore diffusers so that I get the, the most bang for my buck with the oxygen. Uh, we use less oxygen than most people do because we, we have smaller bubble size and better diffusion in the water. Do you ever transport directly to a bait shop or do they all come to your farm first? They all come to my farm. This, because I have the ponds here, it gives me the ability to harvest in the wild, bring them back, put them in the pond. I have feed that I can, I can keep the fish fed um, and then I can sell them as needed, when I need it, when the market demands it. The advice I give other people, start small, work your way in, use your profits to drive your, your business. If you have to work outside, do so. Um, I don't regret what I'm doing. Uh, it's, there's a benefit to it, not only to me, but to, to society. Mm -hmm.